Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio workshop. As always, I am joined by Madzuri. Greetings. And today we're going over a very interesting yellow science build by Ray uh, Kaito, I think. And uh, this one is, it, I, I say interesting because this has pretty much everything aside from the plastic and batteries made locally right here. Uh, and that's why the build is so large. It's only only has two assemblers for yellow science, um, but it is making all the circuits and the speed modules locally here and uh, utilizing a ton of direct insertion. Yeah, I'm very fond of direct insertion for builds like this. It, it's pleasing to me. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's, it's really well done. I also like they've, uh, they've made it, uh, what is this? What would this be like? Some sort of symmetrical, it's kind of symmetrical. Um, but uh, yeah. It, Rotationally symmetrical, I believe is what you're looking for. That's that's what I was looking for, yeah, thank you. So, rotationally symmetrical, uh, we have our inputs, copper and iron on the sides, and then sulfuric acid on the uh, pipes as well, and then the uh, batteries and plastic are brought in via bot. Like I said, they're not made locally. And this does um, tile. It tiles either left to right if you stack, if you put it the way we did, or you can flip it um, like the other way, and it will tile up essentially, or down, depending what way you face it. Um, but just to show here on my screen, if I do this, you can see things connect. Um, however, we did math it out, Zuri, and there was a limit to how many times you could tile it. Yeah, about two and a half is what you can tile this for before you run out of, I believe, copper, copper was limiting. Yeah, copper was a limiting factor. So, uh, yeah, uh, two, essentially. I mean, if you wanted the third one to run, like, half the time, maybe, then you could do three of them. But, uh, but you would run out of copper. Uh, now, overall, this seems to have very good ratios and stuff, but we did notice one thing uh, that we did make a change to, which I'll let you go over, Zuri, um, that was causing an issue. Yeah, it's overall very well balanced. The only problem was, for some reason, the blue circuits we're outputting to provider chests as well. And, but it was perfectly balanced without those. So we removed them and it would, again, pretty close to being balanced. It's not quite, it produces enough every 15 seconds, but it takes 14 seconds to craft. Right. So that's a very small downtime, but otherwise very close to being perfectly balanced the entire build. Yeah, which is really, really nice. Um... Just to clarify why, again, it was an issue it, it, because uh, the inserter issue, which is we actually ran into on, on the last build we did um, with the red, that red circuit build, is because you can't really control which inserter exports or not. So it's just dumping like almost all of the blue circuits into the chest rather than into the um, pack assembler. And also, you, I mean, like Siri said, for some reason it was this way. I'm not really sure why because... I mean, you wouldn't want these to be, like, your only supply for blue circuits to the network um, since they're supposed to supply these. So that was really the only complaint. And we removed them. But, uh, but yeah, it's it's overall really good. Uh, it, it does about, over the last uh, minute or so, it does about 10 and a half uh, packs a minute. So if you were to, uh, or maybe 12, it just jumped up um, a bit. But if you were to tile it, then you could get a decent amount of yellow packs being made. I'm trying to remember how much research uses yellow packs. You might need quite a few of these. Yeah, I mean, there's some that, you know, like all the level 3 module researches take like 300, but you know, that would only take, you know, a couple minutes if you had these stacked out to the 2 or 3, but some of them take like a thousand, a couple of them and stuff, so that would take quite a while if you only had 2 or 3 of these builds. There's a rate, uh, weird timing issue with this kind of build, though, using only tier two machines and mostly belts, but also using uh, logistic bots, which is usually much later game than, you know, tier three machines and and modules. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it is a bit of a mis mismatch with the different tiers here. Um, I would say by this point, I mean, if you're making yellow science, I would imagine you would have level three assemblers at least. I mean, seeing as the science itself takes speed modules. But yeah, using modules might uh, goof up your perfect ratio here. I can see why you'd avoid it. 
Yeah, definitely. Um, but you would be, be free to upgrade these just to level 3 machines without, like, modules in the machines. Um, if you wanted this to go a bit faster, of course. Actually, if you did that, it may be close to just a 2 tile amount rather than, like, the 2.5. Uh, you'd have to math it out, but just a quick note there. Um, I think that's going to do it. you have any other thoughts? Nope. All right. Overall, good build. Really, uh, really interesting design with all this uh, local production and stuff. Uh, well balanced, aside from the blue circuits exporting out, which we changed. And uh, I think that's going to do it. Link in the description for the blueprint. If you're interested, leave your thoughts below, and we will catch you later. Later.